All right, Drip, good puppy. You stay back there for just a second. I know that the edible parts of Rain Puddle's body probably look amazing to you, but they need to go ahead and go to this little itty bitty one. Oh my gosh, you also got the name, Drip. All right, we're gonna go ahead and this one is going to be a uh, raindrop. Uh, let's see, I think we already had raindrop, so maybe, um, let's see, rain sprout, rain puddle, raindrop. Uh, we might have this one, rainstorm! How about that, guys? This one is going to be a little rainstorm. Drizzle, actually, let's go with drizzle. Let's forget rainstorm and let's go with drizzle because I think that that would be a really good name for this itty bitty puppers. There we go, because it's like a light rainstorm. And hello to little Drizzle, who is actually a very polite, super considerate little pup, who we're gonna send right over here to go ahead, and I know this is pretty darn morbid, but they're gonna head right over to, and, and eat the body of uh, their parent. There we go. Eat the body of their parent. Oh no, they're gonna throw up because it was too much, dang it. <laughs> so that they can go ahead and get all of that wonderful DNA. Rest in peace, Rain Bottle. We will free your orb soon here, okay? <laughs> but hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to our adventures here in Wobble Dogs, where we are doing our best to go ahead and uh, make sure that the newest arrivals can establish themselves and begin a whole new generation. Uh, no drip, you're not allowed to eat the remains of Rain Puddle. <laughs> I know that you want to, but if you do that, you're just going to go ahead and waste all of that precious DNA that Rain Puddle spent their whole life trying to build up. And oh, maybe they can go ahead and oh, or do these two want to play? Nope, nope, nope. We just have no, no, drop it. Oh my gosh. You have to move so quickly with uh, with drip. Okay, I'm gonna need to like quarantine drip for just a second while we give Drizzle a chance to go ahead and get all of that DNA. Uh, so let's come over here and we're going to build because unfortunately this little one happens to be none other than a uh, extremely, <laughs> extremely gluttonous puppers. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and see if I can just like quarantine them. There we go. All right, maybe that'll work. All right, stay there. You have food. You need, no drip, drip. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up again and we're gonna put drip on this side. And then we're going to see if Drip will just kind of stay there while we wait for the little puppy Drizzle, who's just having a good time, to be hungry enough to, to finish up <laughs> the essential work of consuming their parents so we can restore that DNA to the family. Oh dear. Well, you know what, guys? This is Wobble Dogs. And sometimes our adventures here in the laboratory get a little bit interesting. Uh, but we treat them all with love. We treat them all with love and I'm sure everything's going to be fine. But all right, so welcome back my friends. Uh, today we are going to be spending a lot of time hatching a bunch of the puppies that have been waiting to be hatched for a little while here and doing our best. Here, we'll go ahead and put Trip over here and then I should probably get another one of the ghost guard dogs hatched so that that way they can share the DNA and also, let's see, I know I have a big ghost guard dog that we've been waiting to hatch for a while. Somewhere in here. Not that one. This one! <laughs> this huge dog who is going to restore the giganticness to what our ghost guard dogs can be. So we're going to go ahead and hatch this one. I definitely need to get some more of the big DNA like going in this family tree again. And I want to get the huge tails going again. Uh, Drizzle, I'm going to clear away all of this garlic bread that's kind of more meant for the ghost. And give you a chance to maybe go ahead and eat this. There we go. And I'm gonna clear all of these pieces away and all of the dog cores. I just like to let the dog cores kind of rumble around the place. Drizzle's so worried about Drip. Like, are you okay? Just stuck back here? That seems kind of boring. <gasps> and now we have another guard dog. Oh, Lump, okay. Sugar Lump, what about naming this one Sugar Lump, you guys? I was actually going to name it after one of you using the random generator and picking up a random comment from before, but Sugar Lump, that just sounds like such a perfect name for this one. <laughs> you guys, welcome to Sugar Lump. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, I'm very happy with that. I'm really happy that we're starting to hatch more of the puppies too. I think we're actually getting really, really close. <gasps> We're only five babies away from the reward for hatching so many babies. Oh, that makes me so proud. Yes, so proud. Oh, all right, you guys. Well, with that known, let's go ahead and check in on everybody else. Coconut Strudel is doing okay back here. 
I think coconut strudel might need to have the thicker leg gene. Here, coconut strudel, you go ahead and eat a little bit. Oh, they got sick. Oh, I'm sorry, coconut strudel. I wonder if the alien fruit is hard for some of the dogs to eat, but you would think... Oh no, coconut strudel! <laughs> Your alien fruit literally got yeeted into the next room. Here, try eating this one. Here you go, friend. Trying to figure out which head, like, wants to go ahead and try to have the snack. Here you go. You definitely look like an alien dog, that's for sure. Alright, good job. Let me pull you over here. Look at this poppers, you guys! I love this poppers! This is just so cool! I can't believe we have a three-eyed dog. Alright, let's get coconut strudel pup aiding. Phew! There's just like a lot of work to do with all of these little ones. And then let's actually start hatching everybody! Alright, let me clean this up real quickly. And then let's get Mysticorn down here. Alright, Mysticorn. Any- Ooh, Mysticorn changed! <gasps> yes! Yes, you guys! Okay, so Mysticorn's color changed a little bit, which is really cool, because I would love to keep, like, these pink dogs, and I think blue is kind of uncommon as well. Metallic pattern has way gone up, leg stance has gone up, and the girth has gone up! You can actually really tell that their leg girth has increased significantly, which should definitely help Mysticorn with walking around. Head size has gone up, ear length has gone up, which is so cute! And the glossiness on the nose, legs, and body have gone up. We really needed that. <gasps> Look, Mr. Corn can walk now. Okay, that makes me so happy. I think the answer in the future for a lot of our puppies that struggle with walking is definitely to give them larger legs. So we will absolutely work on that for sure. Oh, are you going to go into the den to take a nap? It's still hard. But that is so much better and so much more progress on walking than we've had with so many of our dogs. All right, little straw baby. Are you going to surprise us with a pattern? Yes? Oh, <gasps> straw baby! You're an orange now! Okay, that's not what I wanted. But that's okay, straw baby. Maybe we can make you pink again. Leg color is changing, body color is changing, body girth, snout rotation has gone up. <laughs> okay, I do like the snout rotation going up. That's really cute. Straw baby, did you go ahead? Oh, no, there it is, the cocoon. All right, yeet it into the cocoon room. And Strawberry, I'm going to try to figure out if I'm going to be able to make you um, pink again. Can I make my puppers pink again? Let's see. We've got all of this DNA popping around in here. Let's see. White body, random mutations, big tail, short legs, random mutations, default color. Hmm. Hmm. Which makes me think, like... Pink is kind of more of one of the default colors. Skinny tail, black body, white legs, hmm. Glossy sheen, big, big nose, yellow coloration, short body, little, thin body, long body, flat body, green coloration, and purple body, hmm. Hmm. Well, we do still have more things to find. I guess maybe it, like, like, would orange coloration help? Trying to, like, balance out? Maybe make them more white? Hmm. At this point, little strawberry looks more like a little squash, but... Huh. We'll have to... Maybe we'll work on, like, a, li a line of, um, little, uh, little, like, vegetable and fruit dogs where I try to, like, match certain patterns. That could be a huge and really fun challenge, actually. I think we'd have a lot of fun with that. All right, Coconut Strudel, you're actually ready to go ahead and hatch. Already. So we'll let you pop out. Ooh! Look at the coloration on the body! Wow! That's actually from having the nose and ears colors have changed from the alien fruit that we just fed him. And then the leg and body color have actually shifted quite a bit from the ectoplasm they've been eating. You just never know what you're gonna get with some of these. <gasps> Tail size has gone up! Yay! Body size has increased somewhat. Body girth has increased. Snout size significantly jumped from ectoplasm. Like, that is really cool. I love how the ectoplasm, you can't ever really predict what it's gonna do because it's just random mutations in all these different directions uh i like it actually i really do there you go all right coconut strudel i hope that you will continue to evolve apace and in an interesting way and maybe we'll actually grab this tooth and we'll feed it to little strawberry little strawberry do you want to eat this for me 
Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll feed you a few little teeth and we'll just see how that goes. Oh, you're such a good puppers. Such a good puppers. All right, let's see. Corn dog, you are ready to hatch. Mr. Corn just seems to like to spend time in this room, like chilling with corn dog. I'm not going to complain. Corn dog, your legs, your head has gotten even smaller. Why is your head shrinking? <laughs> Snout length has gone up. The metallicness has uh, seemed to like be, man, you know, you were just really shiny from the get go. The length of the legs are all going up. So we seem to be going in the right direction with that. Uh, and otherwise, We'll grab this. Mr. Corn, are you just... I feel like Mr. Corn has been enchanted with these dogs from the get-go. Like, truly. I'm kind of curious to see how that will work out. All right, Mr. Corn. All right. You can you can enjoy looking at whatever you look at. Uh, and meanwhile, Strata, our pixel puppy, is ready to hatch. All right. Come on, Strata. Tiny legs. Think small legs. But like... Oh, Strata, you're so small! <laughs> After working with all of the other dogs, Strata is just so small, and I kind of love how their legs look a lot like a double helix. That's a really cool trait for a pixel puppy, just saying. Oh, hello! I guess you do have enough legs that you can do whatever kind of weird thing with your paws that you want. That's totally your business. I'm not going to judge. All right, leg stance has gone up, length has gone down, snout rotation has gone up, down, somewhere, all around. Hey, Strata! Hopefully, I think we need to get thicker legs on these little ones, um, which means feeding them maybe some alien fruit for a little while. I guess we're not too fussed about the coloration, and if we could get thicker legs, that would definitely help us out. Hmm. Hmm. Long legs. Oh, bananas are long legs and long body. <gasps> maybe I should be feeding some bananas over to our um, our giraffe dogs for sure. I mean, it helps that they can turn kind of orange, but bananas would probably help the situation. So let's actually feed corn dog, not corn dogs, ironically, uh, but some more bananas. We'll get some bananas in here. There we go. Give them just a little bit of a variety for whatever they want to eat. It's just fun to see how the randomness is going to play out after all. And Drizzle, oh no! Okay, there's still some body parts over here, Drizzle. I know it's really weird. And I'm sorry to demand this of you, um, but if you could please consume some of these, it would be a huge help. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, Drip. Oh, Drip. Drip, you are a little... You are such a troublemaker sometimes, I swear. Hey, Espeon. Espeon the ghost has come back. All right, these guys are just all over the place. They, I swear we've got... Oh, Drip. Good job, lay the capsule with block wallpaper. I love it. All right, Drizzle just could care less about actually going ahead and eating the things that I'm trying to make him eat. I think all Drizzle really wants to do is just play with all of these dog cores, and that makes them a very good ghost guard dog. So what, you know what, Drizzle, I'm not going to make you have to eat the rest. I'll just go ahead and pet you. And meanwhile, Sugar Lump, I feel like you could definitely use some of this DNA. So please, if you could, like, okay. If you could just eat this, I know this is really morbid. If you could eat the head of your parent. Again, morbid, I understand. But it, it it's it's the way things work here. Are you gonna come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Espeon just bit Drizzle Sugar Lump's nose! Espeon! No, like, I didn't want to scold you for sitting. You just can't bite Drizzle's nose right now. I'm I'm really working with him right now. Or Sugar, Sugar Lump's nose, not Drizzle. All right, I'm going to give you all the pets. Sugar Lump? Oh my gosh, if you guys look, you can actually see the paw still waving in the distance. Oh dear. All right, Sugar Lump, you go ahead and take a snooze. Espeon, sometimes you are just hilarious trouble. You know that. You go ahead and eat this garlic bread. If you could do that and turn it into ectoplasm, it would be helpful. Uh, all right, phew. Okay, so Drizzle's actually ready to hatch soon. How are the other puppies? Doing okay. Coconut Strudel's having a good time. We've got just a happy little straw baby. Hopefully I'll be able to get straw baby to be more red at some point so we can have a little straw baby dog. <gasps> and I totally forgot we have another puppy ready to hatch. Oh, you guys. Yes, we're gonna do this one. Yes! And this one is actually going to be Abstract, named after one of you guys. 
And I just thought abstract when, it, like that's the next name that the random generator pulled up. And when I saw that, I was like, that is the perfect name for a two-headed, slightly polite, somewhat mysterious, four-eyed, multi-tailed puppy. I mean, come on, that's pretty abstract if you ask me. Oh, this is so fun. This is so fun. Welcome, Abstract. And now we've got lots and lots of two-headed dogs. Who knows? Maybe if we can start breeding them, there will be even more heads bouncing around here before you know it. So, all right, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for your favorite puppers. I'm kind of enchanted with the way Mysticorn is, like, always hanging out in the giraffe dog world. Uh, and just, like, seems to want to spend a lot of time with Corn Dog over here. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!